You know what I've been thinking? What have you been thinking? <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, relax. Talk to me. It's okay. It's just us. <laughs> I've been thinking that we're pretty weird. You are. <laughs> and we've spent a lot of concentrated time together the last five years. Mm -hmm. Living in here and working together. Right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically here. Yeah. That over the next month or so of extra concentrated time together, <laughs> that we're just going to get weirder. <laughs> and that's it's, okay. I'm trying to think if that's possible. <laughs> no, it's possible. Yeah. It's possible because I find myself saying nonsense words all the time and I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know if I'm going to be able to return to public and speak like a regular person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that because <clears throat> isolation does make you a little weird, especially if you're extremely isolated. But we're not. You know, we have each other to talk to, which is great. Aww. But we do say weird things to each other a lot. And to the dog. Schmunchkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say that. <laughs> too late <laughs> already did they heard it so the reality is we're strange it's true yeah. we're living in strange times but what we're trying to do is create a sense of normalcy so we can live our lives the best we can despite how weird everything is so this is what we've been doing we should, might as well show them we got nothing else to do <laughs> on this week's edition of tiny house quarantine tiny corona tiny, tiny corona, corona. <laughs> Crazy person. <laughs> Now more than ever, we're finding that sticking with our daily routine really helps us to feel grounded. Yeah, and one of the big things for me is getting dressed in the morning. It makes me feel like a person. And I go ahead and I take the dog out for a walk and it makes me feel like I'm, you know, part of the whole world again. <laughs> and when we walk, we might see a neighbor drive by or from a distance walking their own dog and we can wave and there's a little connection and a smile that makes it seem like the world is is normal even though it's not but having that at the beginning of the day like I guess as a positive tone you know just feels like it's gonna be a good day even though when we drink our coffee we might turn on the news and hear maybe things aren't so great. Um, of course they're not. But, uh, you know, staying up to date, I think, is weird too because it's kind of stressful. But for me, it, it helps with like coping. It's like new information comes out and I and then there's some security in knowing what's happening. But I think to balance out the bad news, having that positive morning routine makes a huge difference. Winnie has to do her things the same time we're doing ours, so standing in the kitchen. She likes to eat breakfast while making coffee. Isn't that nice? So while we're self-isolating, we also like to socialize, and I know that sounds really, really weird, but we do it quite a bit. Well, people need people. <laughs> people. <laughs> It's even in this song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, not being able to go out to the gym or for beers or whatever, there's like just little interactions that you have with strangers or friends that you just really miss when you can't go anywhere. So <laughs> where we can go is walks. We can go into nature as long as we're staying six feet plus away from other people. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing a lot of that. A lot in all weather conditions, mm -hmm. apparently. Yeah, yesterday it rained and we were just like, it doesn't matter, we gotta go for a walk. <laughs> so we did a two hour walk down by the river and saw a handful of people, stayed six feet away from them, 
totally fine, but did get to say hi. That's our entertainment. Besides streaming, <laughs> our entertainment is walking. It's like streaming, but in real life. <laughs> Apparently, we've been watching <laughs> too many YouTube videos and too many Netflix shows. <laughs> Yesterday, Alexis and I were talking about um, how we wish we could go to a movie at McMinimins, which is like five bucks, and eat the tater tots. So, since she went to the grocery store today, guess what was on her mind? Tots. Tater tots! <laughs> <laughs> so, we eating tots tonight. We're going to Netflix. What are we going to watch? Ozark? Ozark! Everybody's got to be doing this. When you can't see friends in person, we FaceTime. It's the next best thing. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've gotten up with um, friends that we haven't talked to in a long time. So it's, it's actually really nice to have a little push to reconnect with, with folks we haven't talked to with in a long time. Yeah. And we end up talking for an hour or two. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, uh, we Skyped watched a movie with uh, Alexis's kid Garrett. Yep, um, Garrett is in North Carolina, so far away, and uh, really missing him, and it's especially hard to be away from him right now. But yes, Skype movie nights, highly recommend that. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We watched, we've watched, we've done two so far, and last night we watched The Labyrinth, um, and also did um, a Skype session where he did a school presentation. Um, his dad gave him basically a homeschool assignment to research an ancient religion and to do some math percentage work on stock market prices. So, <laughs> <laughs> Which is, that's a good time to do that. So he, he created a really excellent PowerPoint and presented it to us. Uh, it was really special and it was nice to actually get inside of, you know, some school type work because you know how it is with kids. When you ask them how their day at school went, you don't always get a lot of information back. So, but this time we had we had a, a great conversation about what he learned about. Quizzes, 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 quizzes. Oh, wait, I have a question. What is what is Christian going to use? Um, what when he, when he was filming we with his phone? Uh huh. Is he going to use that footage? And you're going to make a coronavirus? I bet you guys are going to make a coronavirus update video, and you're going to use that in your video. Maybe. Would that be okay with you? Uh, can you mail me a, a slip? <laughs> no, uh, a release form? A release form. A release form. Got it. And if you find yourself with huge amounts of spare time in this whole quarantine, I would definitely recommend needle felting. So I started needle felting and I really like it. So it's like making little sculptures with uh, felted wool. It's like I made little monsters, these are fun. <laughs> but um, but yeah, needle felting is, is definitely a, a thing that can occupy my time. Each one of these took about uh, a couple hours to do and I think it's fun as hell. <laughs> I've been enjoying some straight up coloring. <laughs> It's a very simple kind of craft, if you could call it that, but it's very meditative. It's an I, adult coloring book. Get back off. I know. And I'm also really excited to get into the birthday present that Christian got me. Mm -hmm. It's an embroidery kit. I can make really cute little cacti and peacocks and shrooms. So I'm excited. And I think what's the best thing about crafting right now is that it takes a lot of focus. It does. Oh, a hell of a lot of focus. So you're really just paying attention on what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So that keeps your mind off of what's going on. And it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> and we need more fun things to do. Yeah, totally. Yeah, do it. Get it, get it. Deep bends, deep bends. Those are deep bends. <laughs> All of us are going to get fat. <laughs> so, 
because we're just at home eating our three hundred dollars worth of groceries. <laughs> so we, I have to get out of the house, or else I'm going to be four hundred pounds. No, the idea is to keep exercising enough to still be able to eat cookies and fit in your pants. <laughs> Okay, so for staying fit, so far we've done a lot of walking. We've gone on like multiple two hour walks that included some uphills. Yeah. But you can't go to Planet Fitness. You gotta freaking earn your workouts. <laughs> Uphill in the snow, both ways. Uh, we are working up towards doing exercises in the lawn once it stops snowing and raining. And we took an e-bike trip. Oh yeah, because that's exercise for me. <laughs> e-bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so even though it's got a motor, you're still pedaling and I feel you're still getting a decent amount of exercise in a 14 mile trip. I think we did 14 yeah, four, miles. Yeah, we've done it. We did at least that. Yeah. And if you keep it in low power mode, you know, it's a really heavy bike. So you really are, you know, using those leg muscles. We only saw a handful of people. Yeah. So pretty, pretty solid social distancing exercise. Though we have been just doing walks closer to home lately. So since there's no real gatherings happening, you know, you're not supposed to go to movies or concerts or anything like that right now. Um, or bars or restaurants. <laughs> yeah, or bars or restaurants. It would still be cool to hang out with friends. And so there's two sets of picnic tables <laughs> and a fire in between. So I was thinking, you know, the fire is like the median point. <laughs> and then <laughs> they'll be on one side uh, doing their thing, cooking their food. And then us on the other side. Hey, yeah, I could use another beer. <laughs> we'll just loud talk to one another. Yeah, we could just loud talk. <laughs> We'd sit in chairs, be probably six to ten feet away from each other. I think it would be great because it's so pretty here, and yeah. I think it would be cool. So Alexis likes to procrastinate about a lot of things. But it's been a great time to get caught up on things that we've been meaning to do. Yeah. Uh, silly little things like I had two hooks sitting on the counter over here for a month, month and a half, and I finally put them up. I put them up outside. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> And what was it? What else was it? My tools, my mm -hmm. tool bags were an absolute mess. I have like three of the same screwdriver and I don't need three of the same screwdriver all in the same place. I have a bad habit of when I'm done with the project, taking all of my tools and all of the screws and everything and throwing them in the bag that's right there. So that's why I got the bucket because it was great. In the morning when I was building the house, I could pull everything out and just put it back where it was supposed to go, but I haven't had the time to do that. <laughs> so it's co complete disarray. But what's cool is I got, a, I got a thing for my three inch screws now. So, you know, these were all just, everything was just laying in the bag and recycling is awesome. You know, this is what like our, our dads did with uh, glass jars all the time, but we have lots and lots of recycling. So I've taken our melatonin is now three inch screws. It feels great to have things like that done. I mean, it's always those things in the back of your head that you're like, oh, I just need to do that. And it shouldn't take me that long. And doing them again and crossing them off the list is always a good feeling for me. There's also maintenance that I put off, like trimming my beard. So since I've got some time, I, 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 get, I gave it a good trim. It absolutely needed it, and Winnie got absolutely filthy on the walk that we took the other day, so she needed a bath, something fierce. And she'd already been filthy before that. Yeah, she was dirty. She's been dirty for a while. She, she didn't like it. You can tell she doesn't like it. <laughs> but she got a nice bath. Now she's like all shiny and clean. So we're staying 
sane, mostly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't start out completely sane. Mm -hmm. So the fact that we're still this sane is, is a good sign. Yeah. But seriously, we're so grateful for what we have, our home and our health the ability to do hobbies and the luxury of working from home and we know that's not the case for everybody we'd love to hear from you about what you guys are doing to stay sane and to pass your time let us know in the comments below also check out our instagram where you can see little insights into our daily life in our tiny house until next time guys we hope you stay safe and healthy see you later see ya. Hey guys, it's Alexis. And Christian. Thank you very much for watching our video. Yes, and subscribing <laughs> to our channel. And don't forget to check out more tiny house stories. And tours. Oh, and don't forget to join us on Patreon. And again, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Take it easy, guys.